Hi folks, when I hold these blocks in my hand, it feels like the steel block is heavier than the aluminium block, although the aluminium block, or aluminium for any viewers in the US, is much larger. That's because steel has a greater density. But what is density and how can we measure it? Here's an equation we can use to work out density. We just divide the mass of an object in grams by its volume in cubic centimetres. That gives us the density of the object in grams per cubic centimetre. The symbol that's used for density here is the Greek letter called rho, which looks a little bit like a letter P. Now, in this video, I'm going to calculate the density of three metal blocks because it's easier to work out their volumes. First, we measure the length of the block, as well as its breadth and its height. To calculate the block's volume, we just multiply its length times its breadth times its height. What we'll need for the experiment then is our three blocks, an electronic balance, a ruler and a calculator. Let's get weighing. So here are the results so far. Brass has a mass of 167.88 grams, aluminium's mass is 174.39 grams, and steel has a mass of 247.20 grams. Now it's time to get the ruler out and measure our block's dimensions. It's time for the music again. If you weren't taking notes there, here are the length, breadth and height measurements for brass, aluminium and finally steel. As I said before, volume is calculated from multiplying the length times breadth times height, which gives us 20.0 for brass, 62.0 for aluminium and 30.4 to one decimal place for steel. Let's pop those values into our first table and we can finally work out the density of our three blocks. Here I'll just write down the values of density to one decimal place, which gives brass a value of 167.88 divided by 20.0, which is 8.4 grams per cubic centimetre. Dividing mass by volume for the other two blocks, we get 2.8 grams per cubic centimetre for aluminium and 8.1 grams per cubic centimetre for steel. So, is there any way that I could have improved in the experiment, I hear you ask? Well, You'll have seen that I measured mass to one hundredth of a gram, but only measured the dimensions of the block to 0.1 centimetres. If I use something like this, a set of digital calipers, then I can measure the length, breadth and height of each block with more precision than I did with the ruler. Still, I'm pretty happy with the results. One drawback of the method that I've shown you is that it only works for regularly shaped blocks. What if I wanted to work at the density of this stone? Well, I'm afraid that's going to have to wait until the next video. If you've enjoyed this one, then why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you're made aware when new ones come out. If you have any suggestions for future videos, then leave a comment and I'll be sure to take a look. See you next time.